Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sake Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to fix analog stick drift on your PlayStation 5 controller and fix any kind of sprinting issues you've been having. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So in Call of Duty Warzone, when I'm aiming around, sometimes my controller will just move by itself and my aim will be off. Also, my character will all of a sudden just stop sprinting and kind of stutter step. So to fix this, we will want to take apart our PlayStation 5 controller. Now, flip it around and use a tool that kind of looks like this or a plastic piece. Or maybe even your fingernails and just lift up under this black piece right here. And this base plate should lift off now. And then just peel this back. Just like this. Now, use a plastic tool to remove the R1 and the L1 buttons on the top here and just go to the middle of the button and then just lift up and it should just pop off just like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Now, remove these four screws. You got one here, here, then one down here and over here. So, let's remove those right now. All right, so now with all those screws removed, there is a latch right here and here that you want to go and just create a little separation with your plastic tool and just move it in the middle just like this. Once you have that on latch, go to the side and just work your way down to the top here. Create some separation and just make sure everything is on latch here. Then go to the other side and do the same thing and just work your way to the top. And boom, we should be able to take off the back plate now. So let's just lift up over the triggers and it should come off. Now let's rotate around our controller and we want to remove the battery now. Now when removing the battery, you can pull from the wires here, but you have to be very careful. If you have the ability to lift up where the plastic is, go ahead and do that. Now if you're very careful, you can just lift up with the wires and this should come off without too much effort. Then there's one screw in the middle here that we want to remove. So let's do that and then we can remove this back plate. Now this little ribbon cable on the bottom here, let's remove that. And this piece will probably stay with it but most likely will fall out for you. Now let's put this to the side. And there's four ribbon cables that we want to unattach from the board. You got this blue one on top. So let's remove that one. Then you got this one on the side and this side and then the one on the bottom here now there's going to be little latches on the side of the board that you want to just press in so you can just press it in with your thumb and then this board on the bottom here should pop up then you can go ahead and remove it and there's going to be one on each side so there's one over here too where the battery was plugged in now feed the board through the little thumbstick holes here and just be careful and this little piece right here may fall out on you which is fine. Just go ahead and just read the numbers upright and then put it back in right here and you should be good to go. Now find the thumbstick that's been causing some issues whether it's the right one for aiming or the left one for sprinting. So in my last video I did like a cleaning video on how to repair the right one so let's go with the left one. Now remember this is opposite. So I'm going to lift up the thumbstick right here. This is going to pop right off and this is what we want to go ahead and clean. So we're going to open these up and then clean them. Now I would suggest doing both of them if you can. In this video I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do one. So these pieces right here. Okay so now we have a good picture of what we're going to be cleaning and we're going to be using some rubbing alcohol in this video and then just a q-tip to go ahead and clean up any kind of gunk that's been accumulating or any kind of residue that's been forming. Now I have just this small like little plastic guitar looking pick thing that is great for creating some separation and opening this up. So I'm just going to use this to put it inside here on the side. And you want something very thin. So this is peeling off and this may be a little bit difficult. Try not to peel it back too far because you don't want the soldering to break on the other side. So that came off relatively easy. It took me a little bit of difficulty. 
Now, this is the piece we want to lift out and clean. This little sensor right here. So let's grip this and take it out. All right, so now I have it, and this is what this looks like. So I can see like there's some hair on there or something like that, but I'll show you the correct way to put this in. So I'm going to put this to the side right now and then we'll clean that later. Take your rubbing alcohol and pour it like in the top cap right here and get a little bit on your Q-tip and just soak it very well. Then clean off the inside here. So let's do that now. And there may be some like grease or residue that has kind of been forming and causing your sprinting issues. Now, typically in most first person shooters, I don't use the click feature, I just use the auto run. So anytime I push forward, sometimes I will stop sprinting. So this can be annoying. So this is looking pretty good. Now let's take a peek. And I don't see any kind of grease or gunk on there anymore. Now do the same thing for this little piece right here before you saw some hair on it. Now let's just clean this off very good. And this piece may be a little bit more dirty. And make sure like the cotton swab you're using, you can see there's some cotton on here. Make sure you're removing any kind of fabric that's stuck on there. I don't really see any kind of gunk or anything wrong with this one. So after we clean it, let's put it back in now. Now there's gonna be little bumps and ridges and that's the side we wanna go ahead and make sure is up. So the opposite of like the two little dots down here, you can see the bumps and ridges now. And we want that side up and then the white piece is gonna be facing inward. And we can just slide this back in here and then we can like rearrange it. Okay, so let's rearrange this upward just like that. That looks good. Now we can just close this with our hands. And you can see there's a like a little cylinder that's popping out from where the thumbstick is. And that's gonna align with that little sensor that we just put in. Then we wanna close this with our fingers here. And you'll hear a click when it's popped in all the way. There's a click. And you know, it's looking like it's good right there. Now test out your actual thumbstick. Make sure this is moving around. It's not sticking or stuck. And like I said, we just cleaned off one of them. You probably will need to clean off the other one here as well, the top one. If you are having the controller just move by itself kind of issues or any kind of stick drift issue, it may just be one sensor, maybe both of them. So just take a peek and see if both of them are the issue. Now take your thumbstick and place it back on and it will go on in one direction here. You just look at it and you can align it. So let's put this on. Good, push it down. Now make sure this kind of piece is right here. And then flip this back over and feed the thumbsticks through the holes. Make sure none of these cables are getting kind of stuck on the bottom of this board as well. So you have two on the bottom here. And then by the headphone jack, you'll have this really small cable right here as well. Let's just feed that through so everything is on top. Good. Now let's replug in all four of those cables. Okay, so everything is back on. Let's take this black piece and put it back onto the board. Take our one screw and screw it down. So put this right in the middle here, get my screwdriver. Then you have to put that one small ribbon on the bottom that goes right here. So the board is back now. And this black little rubber piece may come off on you. Just go ahead and try to put it back on. It's not a big deal. So I just slid it in the little crack right there. And now I'm gonna reconnect it to the board. Now with that piece back in, let's take our battery, put our battery back in and slide this in. And it's only gonna go in one way. Make sure the QR code and the wording is upright. Put the battery back on. Now take your cover, put your cover back on and feed it over the triggers. Push it down, make sure everything is flush on the sides. 
snap it down then make sure this latch is aligning on the front here and it doesn't necessarily have to be relatched now let's put those four screws in you got one two three and four okay now that the screws are in let's put the r1 and the l1 buttons back in so here's the l1 button let's just put this over here and snap it in do the same thing on the other side just align it snap it in now take your face cover once again put these little points inside the holes here and push down all right and snap it on here and make sure the face cover is pushed down as well right where the headphone jack is and you should be good to go test out your thumbsticks make sure those are working now and go over to your PlayStation check them out for yourself so hopefully this video did help your fix drift and if it did go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six studios